Um, many people have taken up this issue on and off in the past, and in fact, they, it, it, but no one had addressed it in several years. And in fact, they, they laughed at us that we would even attempt to take this up yet one more time. But I don't know if, uh, uh, registration by party, you know, it's, it's in our GOP platform, the state platform, and they haven't been following it. And no one was really talking about it. So we wanted to be proactive on this issue. And this issue is also supported by the Supreme Court, the, the, the federal Supreme Court, under freedom of association. And here you see it spelled out on page 11 of the, 11, of the uh, Republican platform. So we thought it was quite reasonable to ask the Republicans to follow their own platform. So how do we do this? It's kind of a complex topic. It's not um, a super exciting topic, but we needed to easily educate the citizens. And now I'm talking to you about this, one, to let you know that about this issue, but more to show you how we use a proactive approach and how we as students, and it's not just Stacy and I, we do have help. We have fellow students on our, uh, that work with us, and we have volunteers that help us with these, with these projects. So our goal is to inform the citizens about registration by party and to expose the fact that they're not following their platform. How are we gonna do that? So we realized that we need to have a thoughtful, clear messaging about the topic, and we did this in a variety of ways. We, did, we, we set up a website called yourvotesc.com, yourvotesc.com. And then we set up um, a Facebook page that we uh, would update with content. And we had little business cards, and they're out there, and you also got them in your convention bags, little business cards that let people know about our Facebook page and our website. And then I talked about the clear messaging. So you're gonna take a complex topic, make it simple, and since we're in tiger country, I thought that this might be one of our good examples to show you. But so you can see that it really, during a primary, when we Republicans or if, you know, Democrats, if you're choosing your candidate, it would make sense that only the Republicans should be choosing their own candidate. Um, then we developed our messaging, like the messaging, then we had cards for the citizens to sign. And we took time to design these postcards, both the image on the front and the messaging on the back. And in fact, the sentence on the back, I don't know if I have, I guess you can't read it there, but we had citizens throughout the state sign these cards. And the sentence on the back took us almost two hours with a group of us to decide exactly how we wanted it worded. Again, we're being proactive and we're being very clear and concise in our messaging. So we sent these cards out throughout the state and then we also handed them out in events and we had people sign them so we could let the legislators know that we do, we, we have primary voters that support registration by party and we'd like them to follow their platform. So there, there's the sentence that I was telling you about that we came up with. And this is signed by the state GOP chairman, Matt Moore. And part of this issue is unique in that it has to do with the state GOP and the legislature. So um, we've, we've been targeting both of them. And um, Matt signed that. Um, we're hoping that he's uh, going to be uh, getting be really behind this issue. We also were able to get Nikki Haley to sign a card. So we have not won this issue yet, but in the last year there has actually been movement on it. Kevin Bryant tried to pull it out for a floor vote and there's actually been a feasibility study on it. So the first time in decades there's at least been some movement on this and this issue now is becoming very hot um, nationally because of um, the Trump numbers being a lot of Democrats vote. So it's, it's um, become a much more known issue now, but when we started it, no one was really talking about it. So we're working with the legislature hand in hand with, you have the, the handout with the bills. There's a bill in the um, State House and also in the Senate about this issue. 
And we just ask you, if you can, to join in this common sense effort. We have a table out there that's the one um, out by the door going out to the patio where we have these cards and we have more of those business cards. So if you want to spread the word or you want to get involved in this, um, let us know. But I just wanted to give you an example of how we take an issue from the very beginning and uh, work on it and get it out there to the public and also to our legislators. So thanks. Thank you.